Bard Quillman has owned Red Dog Liquor Store in Franklin for 13 years and currently sits on the board of the Tennessee Wine and Spirits Retailers Association. This is my retirement account. This is my 401k. This is my IRA, if you will. If wine is allowed to be sold in grocery stores, Quillman's biggest worry is many liquor store owners, himself included, could go out of business. It's very easy to, to say that I just want to be able to buy wine whenever I want to buy wine, wherever I want to buy wine, how much I want to buy my wine. And, and there is a, there, there's a loss sometimes by the public of the social consequences of that. After seven years of debate, this is the closest the bill has come in allowing wine to be sold in grocery stores. Both the Tennessee House and Senate have passed it, and now the bill goes to the governor's desk, which he'll likely sign, and then it's up to you, the voters of Tennessee, to decide. Since I'm already here at the grocery store and I don't have to go to a liquor store and get it, mm -hmm. so I think it's kind of good. Convenience. We lived in Birmingham for four years and they had wine in the grocery stores there and it was just so much easier. Polls suggest a majority of Tennessee voters are in favor of being able to pick up a bottle of wine while buying their milk, bread and eggs. The referendum will likely take place in the fall. State Senator Jack Johnson, who represents the 23rd District in Williamson County, says many changes were made to the bill to get to this point. As I tell my friends that own liquor stores, this, this is going to happen uh, ultimately. If not this year, it's going to happen. So let's do what we can to make it a more palatable transition. If the bill becomes law, grocery stores and big box retail stores like Walmart and Target won't be able to sell wine until July of 2016. And there are stipulations. To sell wine, these stores must acquire 20% of its sales from food and operate in a space of at least 1,200 square feet, which means even some convenience stores will be able to sell wine. There are a lot of aspects of this bill that I'm certainly not happy with. Like the fact the bill requires grocery stores to mark up the cost of wine by 20 percent. Well, I don't like price fixing. I don't like the government telling um, private sector entities that they have a minimum markup and the bill has a 20 percent minimum markup on wine. Uh, I, I don't I understand why they wanted that concession in there. I just don't think that's the proper role of government. But again, had that not been in there, we would not have been able to pass the bill. Quillman's Liquor Store is located in this plaza right off Royal Oaks in Franklin. It's right next door to Publix, which is a grocery store. The two stores are within 500 feet of each other, which adds a revision to the bill. The bill gives me the right to, to, uh, to postpone that grocery store's participation in the wine and grocery store for up to a year past the 2016 if I want to, but then I don't get to sell any of those other things. Those other things Quillman is referring to include items liquor store owners have never been able to sell before, like food, mixers, and beer. We've only sold three products in a liquor store since 1920, and that's alcohol, uh, wine, and high-gravity beer. Those are the only three things we were allowed to sell. If you ask me what does a Coca-Cola cost me, I couldn't tell you that. I can't tell you what kind of profit I would make on that. Quillman says he's in the process of analyzing what's most cost-effective for him, even if it means changing his business model. As close to a compromise as, as I guess you're going to get. I mean, and I guess what they say with a compromise, if nobody's happy, then probably it's a good compromise. By November, supporters need to get 10 percent of the voters' signatures just to have wine and grocery stores appear on the ballot. There's still a long way to go in this fight before it becomes reality. In Franklin, Nick Perangipe, Williamson Source.